Hi guys, today I wanted to share with you details of my readathon that I'm going to be hosting in August. This is the return of the Classics-a-thon, which you may have joined in with last year. I hosted a Classics-a-thon in August and then another one in December and I have loved hosting these so, so much. I love being able to read classics and I love being able to share that reading of classics with you and to know what you are reading too. It feels so fun and interactive. So I am so looking forward to it being back again this August. The Classics-a-thon is going to be running from the 1st to the 31st of August and like last year's Readathon, it is going to be open to anyone and the only challenge is to read at least one classic during the month. I found that this worked really well because I often think that with lots of Readathons the goal is either to read as much as possible in as little time as possible or it's about reading and reading and reading and not stopping. Whereas the thing about classics is that they are best when you take your time with them and really think about them and also they can be intimidating so I don't want it to feel like you have to read thousands of books. I just want it to be as enjoyable an experience as possible because that is why reading is fun. So anyone can join in. You can read poetry, you can read prose, you can read non-fiction, you can read plays. I'm really open and easy with anything and my TBR is going to be consisting of all of those. You can read classics that have been written in English or classics that have been written in another language and translated into English or you can read classics in your own native language. Again I am not fussy and I'm also going to be including translated and English books on my own TBR. Lots of people ask me what a classic is and what counts as a classic. Again the definition of that is up to you. I tend to go by the publishers that publish it or how old a book is. So if a book is published by Penguin Classics or Vintage Classics or Persephone Books or some kind of imprint that publishes only classics then you can almost guarantee that that book is a classic. Again I usually go by a book being around 1970s or earlier written but again you might have something a little bit later that is also a classic so as long as you think something is a classic I think Think that it counts as a classic and I'm not going to enforce a strict rule of what is a classic and what isn't a classic. There are a few strategies I've used in the past year as I've been doing these readathons that I think you might be interested in knowing. So in order to read a lot or to get as much out of my reading as possible I tend to form my TBRs based on a mixture of longer books and shorter books and then poetry and plays and I find that between all of them I get a lot of reading done and even if I only read a few books I tend to read a lot over a wider period of time and I tend to get a lot more out of my reading through doing so. So last year I read Thomas Hardy's poetry, I read Romeo and Juliet, I read Wide Sargasso Sea by Jean Rhys and so I found that the most enjoyable because I was reading something different every week and I found that I could pick stuff up and put stuff down and it wouldn't get confusing in my mind. So I have worked out a good strategy with that and I think I'm going to choose one longer classic to read this year and then lots of shorter ones and lots of different genres and forms too. One of my personal challenges that I've set and you might like to set yourself personal challenges too is that I want to read over a wider period of time this year so I'd like to read some modern classics and then some older classics too not just sticking to Victorian classics which is definitely my comfort zone. So one of the challenges I've set myself is to read a book from the 1700s and then I'd also like to read a book that I have already started but haven't finished yet because I've got a few on the go that I've been reading for a while now. So if you'd like you can set yourself personal challenges and I'd really like to know what yours are. I'm going to be posting my TBR video for the month at the end of this month so you'll get to see what I'm hoping to read throughout August. I would love to know what is on your TBR so you can post about the Classics-a-thon using hashtag classics -thon on Twitter and on Instagram. I'm loving looking through the classics on hashtag on Instagram because lots of you have been posting throughout the year as well so it's always nice to see what you are reading. I'll also be doing an Instagram live show in August talking about the classics 
that I'm reading and answering your questions. So I'll announce that on Instagram and on YouTube too, so you'll know when that will be. The aim of the Classics-a-thon is to have fun with your reading, and that is the most important thing for me, is that it teaches you how to enjoy reading classics if you're maybe a bit nervous to do so, to challenge yourself if you'd like that challenge, and just to see where your reading takes you. This isn't a readathon about reading as much as possible. It is a readathon that is relaxed and is all about making sure that you enjoy it and you have a good time, and that is what I'm hoping to have. I'd love to see your TBRs and what you're hoping to read. I'd love to see your updates throughout the month using the hashtag. And if you'd like to post a video TBR as well, I'll be watching them. So make sure you tag me in everything that you post because I'm so excited to see what you decide to read and to see what classics you read so then I can get recommendations for me too. I will see you in August for the Classics-a-thon and happy reading.